Yep. Welcome. Uh, to I don't actually want to call this a guide. This is how to get yourself set up to obtain the hidden artifact appearance for Vengeance Demon Hunter, which is the Iron Warden appearance. This thing is uh, it's pretty. It's it's probably my favorite appearance so far for a number of reasons. I'll go over that later. But uh, yeah, there she be. Um, and I want to say it's not a definitive guide because it still relies heavily on RNG. But you want to start in your order hall. And you can start working on this while you're leveling your Demon Hunter. As long as you have access to your second tier advancement trait. And I'll go over that in a second. But you want to go down to the basement. And find your little order hall man. Oh, hey, that's new. Um, here we go. Oh, cool. Uh, the second tier choice is called the Twisting Nether. And you want to make sure that you research that. Uh, if you've chosen Vengeful Retreat. You can always switch at the cost of some res uh, resources and looks to be about three days. Um, and obviously you can't be researching anything in the meantime, but once that's done, you will just click on this crystal that's located next to this fine man. Oh, hello. And you'll want to um, use the book that's uh, over on the table and it summons a boss, a random boss. These guys have different abilities. They're not crazy hard. You can solo them in vengeance spec pretty easily. Um, obviously it's best in a group um, with enough gear like if you if you've got 840 gear then these things will be a joke to solo but what you're seeing is a mix between live and beta footage because I did try for the majority of my beta time to actually get this appearance and it never dropped spoiler um, but I was able to get it on my second kill on live which is extremely fortunate and I'm happy for that um, it is worth noting that these bosses actually don't give anything crazy good in fact i think in in my opinion the best thing you can get from them is this hidden artifact appearance um and it'll just drop it won't matter what level the boss is it won't matter what kind of boss it is like they're pit lords um they're doom lords it doesn't matter but the gear that they do drop or the items rather that they do drop just um there's one that increases your healing received while you're out outdoors in the broken isles there's one that in increases the damage dealt by I-Beam um, and reduces the cooldown of it. It's just, they're really beastly for world quests, but to be honest, I don't really value that over the other uh, advancement choice. It is also worth noting that you can only loot these bosses one time a day. So essentially, you only have one try a day per Demon Hunter at this appearance. So it can take a while. Um, there's the basic green skin. You'll have a blue skin, which looks pretty cool. You'll have purple, which looks kind of red. And then you have, uh, red and, uh, looks like gray. I don't know. So, not a silver, but I like that. Reminds me of Diablo. The whole thing reminds me of Diablo. Um, and it, it seems that all the appearances, the hidden appearances, share the same kind of credentials. So the blue one requires you to do 100 dungeons with this appearance. 200 world quests for the purple one and kill a thousand enemy players with the appearance to get the red one. That seems to be the going theme with all the hidden appearances, which I'm okay with. Um, I'm pretty happy with the basic green one, but the reason why I like this one, one of the reasons why I like this one the, the most, is because it changes your wielding style. So, for example, you're wielding these like glaives, and whenever you strike, you actually swing them uh, with you, you know, the back of your arm. But with the Iron Warden, it's just like an arm sleeve. It's it's freaking rad. <laughs> I just, I don't know, I really like it. And ever since I saw this in the beta patch notes, I just, or data mining, I guess, I, I wanted it. And I'm glad that I finally have it. So I'll probably do uh, a video on how to get the Havoc version, which most people have, or a lot of people have that by now. That one's not so based on RNG rather than time gating. So I think I'll do a video for that. But if you'd like to see the video, or it's a VOD of the stream in which I actually get this appearance and then promptly show it off to all of my guildies instead of just linking it in chat like a smart man, uh, that'll be in the description. So uh, look forward to more of these videos. Um, I like making them. So, And let me know if you'd like to see anything else in particular. I don't have every class leveled up to 110, so if you have something that's not a demon hunter, it's going to be a hot minute. Uh, but yeah, stick with it. If you don't have the... Iron Warden appearance, it'll drop for you. It doesn't matter about artifact knowledge. I, you just have to be 110, and you have to have that Twisting Nether perk. So, yeah. Uh, have fun.